you know, one final sort of radical question, so we don't have much, uh, just like the alien question from before. So, uh, Stuart and I have talked a lot about this, and, and I've never been able to get anybody really thinking seriously about this question, except a little bit, there's uh, some pro people at NASA. So you think about the future of the human species. There are two very, very fundamentally different scenarios. Scenario one is we're stuck in our solar system, and scenario two, we're not. Scenario one, basically, I mean, frankly, our solar system isn't really very interesting. We can maybe make Mars a little bit interesting, maybe a moon or two of Titan. Yeah. But basically, yeah. we're not going to hang out on Jupiter or Saturn or Mercury or Venus. So, you know, it's basically not a very interesting place. I, 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 I can presage your answer. In fact, we have just started a project with DARPA. Okay. so It's called the 100-Year Starship. All right. So that's the question. And uh, the idea is we're going to try to set up little mini-grants and set up a program that will begin to invest in the technologies that get us in 100 years of Starship, I think it can be done. And uh, we're hoping to in, in, you know, inveigle certain billionaires to form a 100-year Starship fund. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, so that's going to start. You'll, uh, it's, uh, you heard it here. Uh, but I think they absolutely, we're going to, we, we need to build a starship. See, you're ahead of us. We talked about this at Long Now, and I couldn't get anybody to take it seriously. I said, nobody will take this seriously. You're right on target. DARPA sent me a million bucks, and I put a hundred grand of our money in, so it tells you the relative budget <laughs> between defense and us.